In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Hi guys, it's Leanna. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be transforming my coffee bar into a Valentine's Day coffee slash cocoa bar. I just separated some items I had from my Christmas cocoa bar that I can still use for Valentine's Day. Just a tip to save money on seasonal decor, always shop your house first to see what items can be reused and repurposed for another holiday. So I set aside some goods, um, some good items that I want to incorporate into my Valentine's Day coffee bar. Pretty much most of my hot cocoa items. Also um, a couple of my faux whipped toppers I made during Christmas time. If you are curious how I made these, I'll link some of my DIYs below. We also still had quite a bit of cocoa left, so we'll be incorporating those back in to the Valentine's Day coffee bar. Here is another one of my faux whip toppers. I had it on another mug at Christmas, but I thought it went perfectly with those peppermint kisses. And why can't that be used for Valentine's Day? It goes perfectly. So after I used my items from Christmas that I already had, um, I did get uh, a few new items. Most of these actually I got as Christmas gifts, but a couple of them I did pick up myself. And I am just loving this pale pink color for the mugs. And that's one of the things I knew I wanted to do was even though I was going to use my red from Christmas, I really wanted to incorporate um, more pink for Valentine's Day. So my theme for uh, my coffee bar this Valentine's Day is pink and red, just like that cutie pie mug. Now this mini canister, I just stuck a red heart on top of it to look, make it look more valentine -y, um, if that's even a word, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, it came in a set of two. The other one I think says be kind or something like that. Um, so I'm not gonna be using it for Valentine's Day, another holiday, but I was so happy to get um, some of these cute mugs as gifts for Christmas. Also, in my Valentine's Day coffee bar, I'm going to be incorporating some of my DIYs. If you haven't seen my Valentine's Day DIY video, um, I have linked that below. But I made this sign, this kissing booth sign, as one of my DIYs. It's kind of like a Dollar Tree hack. And then I made this Love is Brewing sign and this little um, heart, glittery heart garland, which I just absolutely love. So the last few things that I'm going to be incorporating into my Valentine's Day coffee bar are a couple items that I picked up. One, this little um, envelope, little plaque, I guess you would call it, or something from Hobby Lobby. Everything was 40 or 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Then this little bug I got from the Dollar Tree. These uh, napkins I got from either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. I can't remember. I think it was Home Goods. Um, and they fit perfectly in my color scheme for uh, red and red and pink. And this cute dish towel um, came from Target. And these straws, I always usually have straws in my coffee bar, kind of use them as stirs. Um, these ones came from Hobby Lobby also. I looked for some uh, Valentine's Day to go coffee mugs, but I could not find any that I really liked. And so I'm using my sweater ones from Christmas. I also have my little jars that I have chocolate spoons in, 
peppermint spoons and marshmallows. It was displayed completely differently at Christmas than it will be this time around, but I still have some of those left over that I'm gonna be using. Here's another hot cocoa sign that I forgot about that I, or hot chocolate, I, whatever you wanna call it, that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using my one of my Christmas canisters, just turning it around so you can't see those Christmas. And this chocolate, um, is the answer who cares what the question is sign I've had for several years and I'm also going to be incorporating it back into my coffee bar so this is my clean and empty coffee bar or coffee station in between my kitchen and my dining room and I just have some staples that are left on there my two coffee pots one is just a regular coffee pot and one is a Keurig I have my little drawers that I keep tea in I have my shelf that I have mounted that I'm gonna put decorations on, and we're going to begin the decorating. I'm so excited. So I'm starting by adding back my hot cocoa. Um, I'm just gonna be adding it to the shelf here. I have four different types of hot cocoa, peppermint, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. I will say that white chocolate was not my kid's favorite. I think that they had it one time and they never asked for it again. Their favorite seems to be the peppermint hot cocoa. On the shelf, I'm also gonna add my little uh, Valentine's Day bug that I got from the Dollar Tree. And next I'm gonna add my kissing booth sign that I made onto the wall. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation. I do plan to hide the battery pack uh, behind the decorations that I'm going to be putting on the shelf. So now to my top shelf, I'm just going to be adding my Ray Dunn specialty mugs. Um, although one of them is not a mug, it's going to be a canister. But I'm just going to add those to the top shelf and it will cover up that battery pack. For something better, and time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh. Come run away, don't be afraid. We'll be okay. And I know it's the right thing to do. Let's break away. All colors will fade. Let's go our own way. Now's the time to decide what to do, and I'll stand by you. So I play around with the placement of the battery pack and see if I like it inside the topper better, but I ended up just liking it behind the mug better. Now I'm going to be adding my mugs to my hooks on the shelf and I'm just going to alternate them pink and red. The first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah now it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no we can't stay no more next i'm going to work on decorating the top of my tea box and i'm just going to add a few items there um i will come back and add something else later but for now I am just adding the decor that I want, which all like kind of has like a marshmallow cocoa theme. our destiny just like it was meant to be yeah my four-year-old always likes to say hi if he sees me filming um so i moved this pink envelope and i put my love is brewing sign um and i'm gonna place the envelope at a different location Next, what I'm going to start uh, decorating the cubes um, portion of the shelves. If I haven't mentioned, um, 
this shelf is from Target. I have several of them in my house. It's like the weathered gray look. And this uh, tear tray that turns, I did get a while ago um, from the Target dollar spot. Now I will be adding this hand towel or tea towel underneath my coffee pot. I did a similar look to this with my fall coffee bar and I just really like the look of it. I find the perfect place for my little envelope next to my Keurig coffee pot. And I'm just gonna add a mug. I usually have my mama bear mug, but for Valentine's Day, I'm going to add this little pink house sweet mug. I decide I'm gonna add this little mini canister on top of my tea box. So I have to move everything over to make room for it. And next I'm going to be working on my bottom two shelves. So with the bottom shelves, I just go through the remaining items and decide what I want to put on each section. This little sign um, was also a Dollar Tree find. So I decided I want to have these three things in this copy. I will end up I'm putting a riser underneath my canister so it's a little bit more visible. And then I am going to be using my Peppermint Kisses mug with the faux topper. I'm going to be using um, this sign that I often have in my coffee slash tea bar during the spring and summer. So I decided to incorporate that back. And then I have my milk picture that I always have in my coffee bar. I just use it different ways. So I'm going to be putting some pale pink flowers that I've had for a while. They did come from the Dollar Tree originally. And I'm just going to add them into the milk pitcher. And this is how both of the bottom shelves turned out. Now I just have to find the perfect place for my straws and my napkins. And I am going to be using this uh, mini vase that I picked up from the Dollar Tree a uh, while back. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time But when it's hard you just grow cold up You should be good but Okay, so my very last item I have to add to my Valentine's Day coffee bar is my glittery heart garland that I made in my DIY video. Because I want the glittery hearts to be visible, I do end up taking a little piece of a Chanel stem, hot glue into the back of one of the hearts, and then wrapping it around the bar so that they all are really visible. Been here a thousand times, set up a stage of lights, say we're done, say it's over. And this is my completed Valentine's Day coffee bar. You can let me know what you think in the comments um, below, but I absolutely love it. I love how I incorporated a lot of my um, items that I had for Christmas so I didn't have to go out and buy a bunch of new stuff. And then I just love the incorporation of both the pink and the red together. And it's just... I don't know. It's probably one of my favorite coffee bars that I've done seasonally or for holidays.
thank you so much for watching um if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and join my little youtube family and hit the thumbs up button if you liked what you saw bye see you next time